Hello, people. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, guys. How are you? How is everything? How are you, Ada? Good to see you again. <clears throat> see to see you too, teacher. Excellent, excellent. I'm glad that you're here. Hello, Carla, Wilfredo, Lourdes, Guadalupe, and Luis. Hi, Hi teacher. How Hello, are you? Good evening. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining this class, for getting online. It's a pleasure to be here. Yes. And I'm happy to see you guys again. You are alive. You survived this weekend. The parties, the, 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 the church events, the sport events, everything. You survived. You're here. Good. How was your weekend, guys? Tell me. How was your weekend? Nice teacher. Really? Nice. What did you do? Uh a little boring, a little boring because I, I didn't go to play soccer the last Saturday. But Saturday. I yes, I I got I I made many many activities. Mm. I went to to the I with the mechanic to repair my, my car. Oh I'm sorry. yesterday I went to the tour with my children. That's what awesome. you That's what's cool. everything. That's good. That's good. In my case, uh, well, I cannot, I cannot play soccer anymore because I have uh, a permanent knee problem, so I cannot play mm -hmm. soccer anymore. Yes. Okay. So that was yesterday. Uh, but I did do a few things with my son. I brought him to my house. We we're playing some games. On Saturday, I worked, and then I went out with a friend to have some uh, some lunch and dinner. So. It was a good good weekend. Yes. Okay, and today, right. and today, and today, people, I didn't work. I just spent the whole day in my house. And guess what? Tomorrow I'm not working. No classes. <laughs> hey, that, it is. So people, let me tell you this. My life is awesome. No, my job, my job, my job is awesome. My life is not really awesome, but my job is awesome. <laughs> so <laughs> it's good. Yes. Good to see you guys again. I'm glad that you're here. Yes. I'm glad you guys are here. Welcome, Gabriela, Adriana, Zulma, Ana. Thank you for being here. Let me let me take attendance. People, today is Monday, so that means full energy. You guys are fully charged. So you got you I need to see that energy today, you know. <clears throat> Very good. Let me take attendance. Hold on. This Monday. It's July the 4th. It's Independence Day in the US today. All right, guys, let me do this. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present teacher. Ana Selmi Chavez. Hello, hello. Hello, present teacher. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez. Thank you, Ana. Hi, teacher. Present. Hello. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Caldames. No. Guadalupe El Carmen Lopez Flores. Present. Hi. Jose Ernesto Osorio Moran. No, not yet. Julia Patricia Vasquez. Vasquez. Present. Vasquez Santos. Sorry. Yes, I present. Yes, yes, thank you. Carla Veronica Vasquez de Rivas. Present. All right, all right. Perfect, perfect. No, would Nelson have... Sanchez. Present. Hello, Nelson. Thank you for being here. Luis uh, Orlando. 
teacher Lourdes present. Yes, Lourdes. Thank you. No, Luis Orlando? Here. I was about to say Luis Alfonso. I have no, I have no idea why. I have no idea why. I think that's because it's a it's a it's a name comb name combination, you know. It's very, very usual. Actually, Luis Luis is a is a very common name in my family. Very common name. Yes. There are four really? people, like four people or five people, or I'm I mean relatives that have the same name. Luis, 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 and Luis. Four, I think. So you, you have to call your next son Luis as well. I think I'm gonna have to. Yeah, my gr my grandpa's name was Luis. Then his song after like, you know his song, my my uncle, his name is Luis, and my uncle's song is Luis, and my my cousin, another cousin is Luis. So ah, uh, it's just Luis is everywhere, you know. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Guess on Edgardo Sanchez. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Present teacher Nelson. Hello, Ofelia, not yet. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Rosa Elena, not yet. Sandra Gladys Mendes. Who said here? Gloria, here. Hi, Gloria. Hi. Well, you are late. <coughs> it's okay, no problem. Sandra Gladys Mendes Ra Ramirez. No. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iaeta. No. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Good evening. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Rosa Maria Carab uh, sorry, sorry. Yes, yes, thank you, uh, Wilfredo. Suma Rosaura López. Present. Rosa Maria Carvalho Garte. No. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Person. Hi, Edwin. Hi. Thank you guys for being here. Okay, guys, excellent. We're going to start. And uh, let me show you what we're going to be working on today. And it's this. I don't know if you see it. It's This is class number eight. Today is uh, Monday. Okay, look, uh, we're going to continue talking about, this is the last class uh, that is related to, to this topic, the first conditional to describe effects in the future. Okay, we finished with this today. This is class number eight. And uh, well, welcome people. A pleasure to be here and to have you here. Okay, let me go here. Let me go to the book and uh, over here. We have already seen this, you know, we have seen it before. We have been dealing with this situation for, a, for quite a while already. So I believe that we, we could do something here. Okay, look at this. We have already answered these questions, but I'm going to ask you related questions, all right? The questions that I have here are, are you able to handle anger correctly? What do you do when you have tried everything to solve a problem? Sorry, what, what do you do when you have uh, tried everything to solve a conflict but nothing seems to work? Those are the questions. So we're going to have similar questions which will be shared with you or I will send these questions through the chat here in, here in Zoom. So just go to the chat and look at the questions I'm going to be sending.
Okay, that's the first question. So I need everybody, I need everybody to think about these questions. There's gonna be two questions only, okay? Just two questions. Uh, and I have shared one of them through the chat. Do you guys see it? Are you able to see the question in, in the chat? Okay, yes. the question says, the question says, what is the most, the most problematic conflict you've taken care of? That's the first, that's the first uh, question, okay? Yes, mention the problem and there comes the second question. What did you do to solve it? What do you do to solve it? And uh, I don't know the question, the last one, I was how many? Okay, there you go. The questions are there in the chat. Okay, so please guys, let's work on that right now. I'm going to copy them and paste them over here. Okay, there you go. I'm just giving you the chance to 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 work on the questions, guys. Let's see if I can find a space down here. Or up here. Okay, here. Okay, now you can see them. People, go ahead. I need to work on the answers to these questions. Once you're ready, you can start sharing, you know? If you want, you can you can share your answers through the chat, okay? You can do it, no problem. I can check the answers. I can fix mistakes if you have some. And then you will share with everybody here, okay? Uh, I will be focusing on the ones that don't participate that much. So I'm going to be asking you guys. Right, so please. Who's ready? We have to text teacher or, or we have to talk and... You have two choices. You can share that with, in the chat or you can share with us over, over here. Ah, okay. okay. Yes. And um, in my... Um, I'm going to talk about my, my job. I guess teacher that my... And that my my most problematic in my job for example when the people has have problem um, with another co-worker because we work um, have you have you here talk about cellula in in textile manufacturing not really it is Cellular, it is like a team. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, <clears throat> five or 10 people work together to make a, a garment, for example, a shirt or mm -hmm. a boxer. Yeah, some, some then, garment. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, to make some government. Then when the people have problem um, to work together or as a team, uh, it is, it is uh, the most common problematic because we have to talk together to, um, to get the, the solution about the situation. Because if we, um, I am talking uh, um, uh, the people that work as a supervisor, then we have to, to find the best way to, for example, for the, to the people can work together without problem. But it is so hard, but we have to, we have to, we have to, um, uh, let me, let me see the word, lidiar, over. Deal with, know, deal yeah. with. <laughs> they always have to, to see this, this situation, but um, the solution, the most, the most common solution could be uh, have a meeting with the people, and talk all all the points that uh, they have some difference in between. Not redirect automatically. All right. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Luis. Perfect. Would you like to share anything? Yes, I will go next. Please, thanks. Uh, in reference, to the first question. Uh, normally, in my account, some basically new employees. At the beginning, they try to make up uh, their KPIs or numbers mm -hmm. by duplicating their interactions incorrectly, which is easy to identify when I run uh, reports. And what did you do to solve it? Well, I provide coaching or feedbacks uh, right away. And how many solutions did you try? Well, uh, normally I go with the disciplinary uh, processes or actions. So the first one is a verbal uh, warning, then I will go with a greeting, and then they will be on final or uh, suspension. So at least I try uh, three ways to solve that, that, that issue. Okay. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Luis, for sharing. Anybody else? People, are you there? Are you ready? It's Monday. It's Monday, guys. It's, it's Monday. It's Monday. People, hello. Good morning. I think I think uh, the word the word volunteer it's a uh, it's magic. You know, the word is magical. Like whenever I ask for a volunteer, everybody disappears. So it's magic. <laughs> I'm going to choose a pe a person or or people directly. Okay, let me see. I would, uh, I would like to hear Rosaura, Rosaura, could you please provide your answers? Rosaura is not here today. Rosaura, are you there? She must be busy, don't pro no, no, no problem, don't worry about it, okay? Let me see, <clears throat> Jose, are you there, Jose? Nobody's here today. <laughs> oh no. Okay, another person. Thank you. Okay. Susan, you wanna share? I can see. You sorry, come again. What can I do? Ah, you have to answer some questions. The well, I don't know if you're able to see the book. And in the book, there are there are uh, three questions that see are they are here. You see them? Okay. Yes. Okay. What is the most common or conflict I am having? 
Yeah, actually, I think I think uh, most complicated would have sounded so much better than than problematic. I will change it. In later. the work? Yes, yes, of course. Thank you. Okay, one time I lost a, a how do you say check? Check. <laughs> okay, uh, one time I lost a check. Yes, that's not good. Yeah. No, and I. I I see very days later. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a big problem for me because my boss mm -hmm. and the client is very angry, angry for that. Mm -hmm. I think it's the is the is very it's a bad experience for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, bad experience for you, okay. And and what was the solution? Uh Susanna, tell us, what, what do you do? Or what, I am talking to with the client. I am talking with the client and, and my boss. Mm -hmm. And in the worst part was my boss, not mm -hmm. the client. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. And I okay. And how many solutions? Oh, when I, I receive a check, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know how do you say it. Lo, en, um, lo entregaba caja. Mm, I take it too. Well, which okay, we, I take it to. Where, where though? Caja, you mean the, the cashier or what? Okay, yes, I'm sorry. I forget it. Okay, I. I take to immediately. I don't. I don't. I don't save nothing. Mm -hmm. I have. It's very quickly. I. I. I make this activity very quickly. Mm -hmm. okay. Only that. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Susana, for sharing. Gabriela. Oh well, Edwin wants to share something with us. Edwin. Hello, hello, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Sorry. Good evening. Well, um, I mean, seven years ago when I was working in a bar. Oh, hold on, hold, night, on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You said seventy years ago, seventy. Yes. No, seven, seven, not seventy. Oh, I heard seventy, seventy. No, yeah. seven, seven years, seven years okay. ago. Oh my yeah, god, I'm, I'm thirty-five. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So uh, I, was, I have a very problematic uh, conflict because uh, I was in charge and um, I was working for a bar. I don't know if you hear something about Circus Bar. There is here from uh, near to Escalón to like for 75 Avenida Norte. Well, the point, the, th the team, thing is that I was in charge of the security guys. So this uh, this night i put four securities in, in, in the inside in the bar and i put another four on the parking lot mm. because the parking was very huge and we, we we have almost like 100 or 150 cars for for, for night because the the bar was very popular so the thing is the the the, the security guards they're always fine for the tips you know, pro propinas, because uh, they always they have uh, problems because they fight with the, which client, which customers give give them the best uh, tips. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so when I was when I was um when I was inside, someone called me. Hey, we have a problem uh, issues in in the parking lot. Two of the, the security guys are fighting. I was like, oh my god, what? So I went to the to to the par to the parking lot. And when I came there, I saw two security guards at pointing each other with his guns. What? And I was like, oh my God. The first thing that I thought, I was like, somebody's going to die tonight <laughs> because they were pointing each other. So what was my first solution? 
like I think um, what happened here? Hey, Roberto, what, what what's going on, Carlos? What happened here? No, okay, this guy stole my 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 tip and I told them to don't mess with me, and, and he was very mad. He they were pointing, and they were like, the, you, when you hear something like shh, shh, la la la, the thing like, the, how do you say? Uh huh. And you, were, I was like, and I'm going to kill this guy because I hate it. He do a lot of things to me, and I was like, hey, and I was like. Cut down, cut down, hey, Carlos, cut down. I was like, and I, I think, okay, the first thing that I'm going to do, if you guys don't stop, I'm going to call the company security and I will change you both to, 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 move, to move you to another area and you will not receive no tips no more if you keep fighting. And there will, and they're think, they, they start thinking like, uh, I, I don't know. And there was another friend trying to call down the situation. And we were like, oh my God, you need to call down. And then the guns were down, the 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 the, the environment stopped stop uh, being very slow and we were like talking to them. And then we, we, we tried to to find uh, many solutions, but uh, uh, at the end uh, uh, resolve the problem and we and we don't have uh uh you know uh someone murdered you know? <laughs> someone committed that night you know because they were fighting very hard that was, so a, that was uh my, my situation seven years ago that, that was a, a a weird a weird and a very difficult situation you know because that was exactly yeah yeah i cannot i can just I just picture the situation and it makes me, it makes me, uh, well, it gives me goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was a very dangerous situation. And you're, you're 35. I, I don't know how to handle it. Mm -hmm. You were like 28 years old when you had that problem, huh? Yes. I was like 20, 27, 28, something yes. like that. You're young. Yeah. Um, yes. I'm still young and I just play. <laughs> you're 35, you're old. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. okay. Thank you, Edwin. Edwin, choose a person, okay. please. Of let's course. Be democratic. Let me, let, let's let be democratic let me see. here. Choose a person. Let me see who. Ophelia. Okay, Ophelia, please. Hi, Ophelia. Hello, teacher. Okay, can you, please, can you please answer the questions? Excuse me. Can you please can you please answer the questions? Okay. Are you are you adding address uh correctly? I want you when you has ready everything to no. solve. It's this one, this one, this one, this one, this one's. Okay. I write this most a problem, problematic, problematic conflict. Conflicts. I you, you have a like a care of. You've taken care of. Okay. Okay. And now, uh, what is your respuesta? I um. I. I know most in conflict in company. Sorry. Uh, okay. No, a conflict is in company. Continue, please. I. What is you do? To solve it and host many solution ideas, you try. Try. Um, is a uh, company is 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 programming is. No pelear con los compañeros, no hay como. 
that's that's all right. That's all right. Let me try with anybody with somebody else. Um, let me see. Julia, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. Please go. Okay. Um, in my case, one of the most problematic uh, conflict that we have in my office, I remember uh, we got a document, a power, we, we call it. And um, it was from Germany. And I don't know how the document uh, get lost. And we try to find it everywhere. We, I remember we we look in every desk of my coworkers, mm -hmm. and we didn't find the document. So yeah. <laughs> we try to contact the client, and we ask them if if they re really sent us the document. But it wasn't in in the records that we have. That we received the document, but the, the document it, it wasn't in the office, so we had to to tell the, the client that we, that we missed the, the, the document that it that it was very important. Okay, that, has, that must be a very difficult situation. Imagine losing something that you really need. That <clears throat> must be tedious. All right. Yes. Another person, Carla. Thank you, Carla. <clears throat> I see I, with the desire, the desire of, of, of participating. Okay. Hi, teacher. My, my most problem uh, I have uh, daily is that, is that I am home office because it, by police of the company, all, all employees are, are of home office. Mm -hmm. But in my case, it's very complicated because I am uh, receive all kind of documents, for example, invoice, checks, contract, uh, anywhere document. Then uh, sometimes I am in my house and and I have and the, and there are any someone in the office um, uh, ask me for me because uh, uh, if present in the office because need uh, give me a document, then my problem is that I have searched uh, who uh, who can give me support for receiving this document or for receiving this check or inclusive for for send me the pay, the payment if the case the payment is uh, is um, it is important that that do it in the day all right. And then, yeah. Yes, so. it is more a, a problem, administrative problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's no, no, no conflict. I understand, but I think those those are like the most complicated. Yes. Yes. The ones that yes. have administration, they must they must be the most complicated. Problem. Like Jesus, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. I haven't, I haven't, mm -hmm. I haven't, I haven't faced a situation that. Uh, that I haven't been able to handle. I have handled the uh, many situations and I think I have done it pretty well. But I think I, I'm not really sure about that. Yeah, that's, I'm just saying that I, I think that I've done it like that. Uh, let's see one more person, just one more person. This person will be a volunteer. Okay, this is the last one. And then we continue. Anybody, a brave woman, a brave man, or, or, or nobody. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, I remember 
in that they could lead uh, the soccer and and team I wanted and to eat the reference uh, because he had been uh, expelling. Uh, my friend is crazy. Uh, he told him not worry because we were uh, already a classific classified or classified. How do you say classificar? Classify. Classify. Yes, class, class, classify, classify. Classify, okay, thank you. And classify, and they could play the most important games. Uh, and the situation is what very complicated and mm -hmm. to be able to contain my friends. Uh, and uh, Angel, because his uh, expulsion. Sorry? Expulsion? How do you say expulsion in English? What do you mean then from the company? No, uh, and, the, and the soccer. Oh, send out. Send, send. Oh, okay. Send, okay. And send. Send out. Uh, the Send out, send out. And pass the uh, five soccer is sport. And with a lot of uh, adrenaline. Really? And, and adrenaline. And where emo emotion rise and fall quickly, we have to know who to control. It's very complicated uh, uh, all the people, uh, but uh, we had a practice so it's, uh, uh, it's, it's easy to uh, uh, enjoy it. Enojarse, excuse me. Get angry. I'm get, very angry. Get angry. Yes, angry, okay. It's very complicated. The topic is the soccer. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> hey, there is there is there is conflict everywhere. Yes. yes. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank Excellent. Guys, we continue here with this one in the first conditional. We are going to review the rules or the structure and the way the sentences go and the way we connect or join the sentences. And then we're going to see some new verbs or new vocabulary. And we're gonna put it into practice in some exercises that we have there, right? Thank you for the ones that have sent the information through the chat. I mean, the answer to your question, to the questions. I've been reading them. Don't worry, I, I'm, I'm working on it, okay? Here we go. Uh, well, last class, which was on Friday, we said or we established that we used the, the, the conditional, the first conditional to talk about situations or that have a result in the present or future, okay? Uh, the present or the future reference doesn't really matter because, you know, it's connected to this pretty much both, okay? Yes. Uh, remember the simple, uh, the if clause, the if clause goes in the simple present form, the if clause goes in the, same, in, the, in the simple present form, okay, look at example here, if she promotes Pedro, or Peter, if you want to put it in English, if she promotes Pedro, what is promotes, people, what is promotes, people? Go up, right? Go up. That's when you get a, a better position, right? To, uh -huh, to get a higher position or to get a better position. That's what, what promotes is. Okay. Yes. The result. Okay. The result, as you see, we have a result. The result is in the future. All right. Yes. He will get us up to the top. 
if she promotes Pedro, he will get us up to the top, to the top. Okay. Yes. That's how it goes. This is the, 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 the we have two different sentences, as you know. Okay. As you already know, there are two sentences and we have to deal with them. Okay. Look, this is one sentence. This sentence is with the, with the subject, with the verb and complement. Then we have subject, will, verb, complement. Okay. So that's how it goes. Okay. Yes. This is, and this part over here is the result. Okay. And that result is a future or yes, yes, yes. It's a future reference. Okay. It's a future reference. That's what it is. All right. Here we go. Let's continue here. What am I doing? Okay, here we go. So the structure, people, let me explain this to you again, or let me break it down. The structure, we start the sentence, iniciamos la oración con if, okay? We start the sentence with if, C, okay? Subject, I, C, yo, if I, okay? Luego el verbo, like then the verb, if I fail, si yo fallo, okay? Or si yo me equivoco, yes, okay? Uh, if I fail today's test, okay, si fail el examen de ahora, o si, uh, uh, what's the word for this? Fail. Uh, there's a word, I cannot remember the word in Spanish. I like that, aplazar, right? Aplazar, no pasar. Okay, as you see. Reprobar, teacher. Uh, there you go, thank you, thank you. That's the one I was looking for. Jesus, that's a lot. Okay, <laughs> thank you, thank you, okay. So again, we start the sentence with if, we continue the sentence with the uh, with the subject, with if I, see si you, okay, verb, fail, fallar. Okay, today's test, the complement, si yo fallo, or, okay, what, what did you say? Ah, no, I forgot the word again. Reprobar. Ah, si yo reprobar el examen de hora, okay. Okay, this is the result, okay, this is the result, I will lose, There's a mistake, I'm sorry. Well, not a mistake, it's a missing word. Okay, look at it. Okay, look, if I fail today's test, I will lose my scholarship, okay? Scholarship, what is a scholarship, people? Beca. Beca. Yes, thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you, everybody. So that's the result. If I fail on the exam, I lose or I will lose my scholarship. Okay, that's the result. Okay, people, and this is the structure. Es la estructura para formar la oración del primer condicional. Okay, yes. Questions, people. Do you have any questions? Questions? No? Okay, next. This is what we have already seen in the book. We've seen this already in the book. Okay, we have seen it. We have read this already. So we're gonna go to this part over here. It says, uh, let's practice with some verbs. With the verbs I have here, or the ones that I'm about to present, you are going to create sentences and you're going to share them. All right, here we go. Look, we have a uh, new, well, not new, different vocabulary, okay? A bye-bye, forward, look forward to, aim, compile, resign, consider, reinforce, increase, or raise, upload, catch up, focus, obtain, okay? What is a bye-bye, people? A bye-bye, any ideas? No? Acatar. Yes, exactly, exactly. Thank you, thank you. Like follow, okay? Follow. Okay, that's what, what, what she said. Abide by means acatar, like follow rules, acatar reglas, okay? That's what it is in this case. Abide by. Forward, what is forward, people? Forward. 
What is forward? Do you know? When you resend, resend something. Okay. When you get an email or a message through email or somewhere, you resend that what you have received. Okay. Reenviar. That's what it is. Okay. Forward. It's a regular verb. Forward. That will be the past form. <clears throat> okay. And next one is, is uh, well, it contains forward. It has the word forward in it. The expression is look forward to. Look forward to. Do you know what this word is, people? Or what the expression means? Like to wait for. Okay. To wait. Yes, that's what it means. To, to, to wait with, with excitement. Okay. With excitement. And you're happy. You're waiting for this, but you're happy. Yes. Okay. Or let me tell you in Spanish, esperar con ansias. Okay. That's what it is. Okay. The next one is aim. Do you know what aim is? Aim, apuntar. Okay. Like aim, what, what, what are you aiming? What is your company aiming? Okay. What, what's the objective? What are you aiming? Okay. Compile. Aim. What is com Yes, tell me. Sorry. Aim, a general term or a gun? Sorry? Aim. Mm -hmm. Is used for general term or when your relation with a gun? No, 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 no. It, it, it's general. Of course, you can use it with guns, with weapons, but you can also use it differently. Like, what? Like, what is your company aiming, or what are your company's aims, like objectives, targets? You know. Yes. Okay. Thank. You. Mm -hmm. The next one is compile. What is compile, people? This is a very common word. Compile. What is it, guys? Tell me. Accumulate. No. Sorry? Accumulate. Yes. Accumulate. Collect. Okay. Bring together. Uh, gather is a, a word that is similar to this. Okay. It's a collection or collect. Okay, like bring together, yes. Resign, what is resign, people? When you quit? Yes, when you quit, when you quit. When you hate your boss and you want to go, <laughs> you just resign. All right, people, hey, give me a second. A moment, I need water. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm back. Okay, resign, renunciar. Okay, consider. This one is easy. What is consider, people? Tomar en cuenta, right? Consider. That's what consider is. Yes. What is reinforce? What is reinforce? Reforzarse. Sorry? Reforzarse. Sorry? Reforzarse. Okay. Reforzar. It's like give or provide people with, with feedback, okay? Like help them. Increase and raise is like go up, okay? Go up. Increase, incre incrementar, okay? Upload, what is upload, guys? Guys, upload, what is it? It is, it is a positive uh, download. Okay, it's the opposite of download. Okay. Next one, catch up. What is catch up? Guys, what is catch up? To be update. Okay, to be up to date. Yes, to be up to date. That's what it is. What is focus? What is focus? Like the point? Objective, Sorry. maybe? Sorry? Like, like watch, like point, the objective. Okay. Focus is concentrate. Concentration. Concentrate, yeah. yes. Okay. Or to pay, to pay attention. 
concentrate or to pay attention, all right? And the last one, obtain, what is obtain? <clears throat> when you get some result. Yes, exactly. We don't really, we don't really use obtain. Uh, we use get, get is more common in this aspect. We, we don't really work with it. I don't really know why, but we, we don't really use it like that. All right, guys, we have the vocabulary here. So I need you to practice with this vocabulary but before we go on to the practice, I mean the verbal practice, we're going to go to a written one or a grammar one, which I will show you, I will show or share with you right now. Yes. People, you look beautiful today. Except me, I don't look beautiful. I look extremely beautiful. So, <laughs> Sorry, people. <laughs> That's me. That's me. Okay. That's me. Okay, guys, I have this exercise here that is quite simple. I have a three different, there are three different uh, stages or three, three different exercises. The first one, there are no indications because I forgot to, to write it down. Uh, I will explain it to you right now. In the first part, guys, hi. In this part, the part that I have selected, you have six examples, six if clauses, and six main clauses. What you're going to do is this. You are going to read, you are going to read the first sentence here with the if clause. If employees abide by, I mean, I'm, I'm using the vocabulary that we have learned, okay, or that we have practiced. If employees abide by the rules, Okay, you're gonna go to the other side. You're gonna go to the other side and over here in the main clause, you are going to find the correct one. Okay, the one that belongs to the first one. It is not in order, okay? So this one, if employees abide by the rules, the company may lose reputation. No, right? It makes no sense. No, no tiene sentido. Decir, Si los empleados acatan las reglas, la compañía podría perder reputación. No, right? Makes no sense. It's, it is not correct. So, okay, that's the first part. In the second part, in the second part, you're going to continue with the grammar things. We have four sentences or four exercises. Look at this one. You may have, you may have the result here or you may have the, uh, the condition. You're going to complete the sentence by selecting A, B, C, or D, okay? You're going to read the four options and you're going to select the one that you think is the best one, all right? For example, you would consider buying new desktop computers if the computers are in good condition. Sorry, there, this one has no, no comma, okay? Comma is not needed there. All right, and the last one, in the last part, I have this, this thing that, that says, what will you do if, what will you do if, and you have, you will find five questions here, okay? You will find five questions that you need to answer, okay? Guys, let's work, easy. I have faith in you guys. Today is Monday. Your mind is fresh. I'm, I guess, right? <laughs> People, I'm happy. I'm not going to work tomorrow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mela is here, Ernesto, Ernesto is here. Oh, Rosa is here too. Who else joined us? Yeah, just them.
Give me a second, guys. If you think working working with the with the with the file is better for you, then I will I will send it to you right now. Well, I just did. If you if you want the oh because it's currently yes, sorry. Let me close it. I cannot send it because it, the file is open. <clears throat> Okay, it's in the chat. If you want it, it is there. Okay. There you go. Sorry. Continue, guys. Did you finish the first part? Not yet, teacher. Okay. If you have any questions about the vocabulary, let me know.
I see you are st struggling, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Guys, are you done with the first part? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, let me go down to the second part. Sorry. There you go. That's the second part. Remember, read. You only have one sentence <clears throat> and A, B, C, or D. It's the other sentence. So choose the best one. You, mo, you know, in uh, there are like two examples here that you can find different answers and the, the answers are correct. They sound correct. Okay. Hmm. Somebody said that she's sick. Guys, nice. you finish this one? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Let me go down to the last one, to the last part. And it's six, five questions, I think. Yes, five. There you go. You see them all. In this space that you see there, you're going to write your answer using, using the, the, of course, you, the first conditional, okay? And the answer is your decision, okay? La respuesta es su decisión. You can answer whatever you want. 
for example, what, what will you do if an employee disrespects another? You answer, okay? Did you finish? Guys, you done? Okay. Almost. I hope. Guys, are you done? Ready, teacher. Ready, teacher. What about the rest? What about you guys? Luis, Aldena, Guadalupe, Edwin, Sandra, Wilpedo, Susan, Julia, Catherine. Are you guys done? Here. Yep. Yes. 
Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Now we're going to go one by one from the first one. Okay. A volunteer to read the first one. Guys. Me, teacher. Thank you. If, if employees abide by the rules, they will have to take phone rates. Which one? The end. If employees abide by the rules, mm -hmm. they will have to take. Okay. Uh, guys, do you agree on her answer? I uh, will go with the, their option. They will keep working at the, at the company. Me too. So, which one do you say? Sorry. Oh yes, yes. Uh -huh. yeah, working. Okay, I think yeah. I, I think the third the third one sounds better. This one they will keep working at the company. Yes, yes. Okay, let me move this up here. There you go. Okay, there. <clears throat> That's the first one. Okay. The second one, anybody else? Another person? Me, teacher. No, oh, yes, thank you. Okay. If the representative forwards the mails, all the customers will receive the information. Okay, all the customers will receive the information. You are right, that's the one. Let me raise the A over here. There you go. The next one, number three. Guys, I'm all ears. Uh, me, teacher. Yes, thank you. Uh, if the boss looks forward to getting good results, the company, no, they will have to take some risks. They will have to take some risks. Guys, what do you some think risks. about this one? What about this one? Yes, they will have to take some risks. Mm. I think I exactly. think he may end up disappointed. Exactly, because we're talking about the boss, right? Look, if the boss, right, he. Oh, uh, I thought that the answer was uh, if Luis resigned. That's another one. That's another one. But that's okay. that be, no, I, I, I understand. I understand. Yes. <laughs> All right. It's confusing, right? Okay. It's a little confusing. Thank you. No, but they, they sound correct. They sound correct. If I said, if the boss looks forward to getting good results, they will have to take some risk. Sounds good. Suena bien. Yes. Although what the problem is, el sujeto del problema, no, no, no. They, they don't match. Okay. They don't agree. So that would be like the problem. Next, people. Number four. Yes. If the company aims a world of results, uh, the company may lose reputation. Okay. The company may lose reputation? Yes. I didn't. No, 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 expliqué, ¿verdad? También se puede usar el, el may. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Or will. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Okay. Are you sure about that one? If the company aims on a growth on, aims a growth on, on sales? Mm-hmm. The company, no, because we are repeating companies, so no. They will have to take will have some risks. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. They will have to take some risks. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Next. Okay. Me. Go. If the sec if the secretary comply compiles information. She will be ready ready for any audit. Okay, she will be ready for any audit. What is audit, people? Do you know what this is? Audit? It's not a car. Auditoria. Yes, thank you. It's a car, but not, not in this case. Okay, Luis. If Luis resigns, people. The company will lose reputation. You can use both. The company may lose reputation. The company will lose reputation. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for that one. Now let's continue. A volunteer, a volunteer. Continue volunteers. 
Number one. Me, teacher. You will consider buying new desktop computer. Letter A, if the computer are in good condition. That's your answer? Yes. Letter A. Okay, you will consider buying new desktop computers if the computers are no, 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 they don't match. Okay. You will consider buying new desktop computers in good conditions, then no. Okay. Continue, Ada. Read, read the options. Lean las opciones. Otras, otras opciones, teacher? Read, read, read the, the, the options. Read them, please. All right. Uh, letter B, if the laptop are out of service. Letter C, if they need an update. Mm -hmm. Letter B, if they are obsolete. Okay. So are you still with A? If they are obsolete. Uh -huh, there you go if they are obsolete, because they are talking about buying new desktop, desktop computers, okay? Good conditions, no. Laptops, no. Talking about desktop computers, update, <coughs> no. If they are obsolete, okay? So the answer is this one, all right? That's the one. Next, the second one, anybody? If the corporation don't have the desire to work with us, we will look for other potential enterprises. Okay, yeah, that's that's the one. <laughs> we will sue them. Go sue them. <laughs> okay. Sue is demandar, okay? Legally speaking, sue. Demandar. All right. Yes. So if the cor corporations don't want to don't know, don't have the desire, sorry, to work with us, we will look for other potential enterprises. Okay? Yeah. Or we could even do this one, go with this one, and they will miss the chance of going up. Yeah, that's, that's, that one sounds good too. Even the first one sounds good too. We will sue them, but that's not really good. Right, thank you for reading. Number three, guys, number three. Me teacher. Thank you. Me teach. Many, many people will be happy if they get vacation more often. Okay. Many people will happy will be happy if they get vacation more often. Vacation more often. So which one? Oh, we just need? the second. I, I think. Yeah, also also the bonus. <laughs> I think like all of them sound correct. People, many people will be happy if the supervisor leaves the position or his position. Uh, many people will be happy. If the boss gives them a bonus, if the company reinforces their skills with with, uh, with workshops, or if they get vacation more often, I think both, all of them are correct. But if we go like like uh, how can I say this formal, we we choose this one. I will go for that one. If the company reinforces their skills with workshops, okay, this one is correct too. If they get vacation, is good. So es también, okay, this one. Number four, number four, guys. Uh, they will create more online alternatives. Letter read C. The, read the, the example, please. If the newspaper enterprise keep going downhill, they will create more online alternatives. Okay. If the newspaper enterprises keep going downhill, they will instead create more online alternatives. Downhill is cuesta abajo, cayendo, okay? Muriendo. Okay. All right, excellent. Thank you for that. Let's go with the next ones. I need more participation here, people. Let's continue with it. Okay, let me see another person. The ones that haven't read, Lourdes, Pamela, Adriana. Hi, Carla, Sandra, Walter. In the first? 
Yes, read the first one. Read the question. You know what, what will you do if an empty? Okay. Okay. What will you do if I'm an employee disrespect another? I am not a human resource. Sorry. Read, read what this. will you do if an employee disrespect another? Mm -hmm. I am not a human resource. I would, sorry. ¿Cuál es la respuesta que dijo? No la escuché. I didn't hear you. Sorry. I am notify human resource. Okay, I will notify human resources. Okay, pero tiene que dar una respuesta. Yes. Respuesta, it's like, yes. how do I say this? I will. Full, full answer. I will. Uh -huh, I will. Report him. To HR. Okay. I will report. You can say if. An employee disrespects another. I will report them to human resources. Okay, así como sería. That's your decision. Okay. Another person, number two. Me the jerk. Okay. Well, ladies, you know, first. ladies first. Yes, thank you. Very okay. Much. <laughs> Who will you call if you have a computer issue? Mm -hmm. I will call it the department. Okay, I will call. Give me la, the me la, la, IT the, department. The condition, please. Give me the condition. If I have. If, if I have problem if i have a computer issue I, I, yes, yes, I have a computer issue i will i will call mm -hmm. it department I will call the IT department, all right? Yes, that's how, how it will go. Thank you. Next. People, People hello. Are you must. Me, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> After. Okay. Sorry. Anyway, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, if the apartment stinks, the tenant will go to him friend house. Okay. Repeat it, please. If. If the apartment stinks, stinks, the tenant will go to him friend house. Things the tenants will go to him friend house. His friend's house. Okay. okay. What is tenant, people? Yes, tenant. No. Uh, inquilino. The, inquilino. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. The people who rent a house. Mm -hmm. When yeah. you rent a property. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Wilfredo, read the next one, please. I'm okay. Ya no hay ladies. Ah, it's a joke. Um, if the content skip a number, I will lose my turn. turn. I will lose, sorry. I will lose. I will lose my, let me see, did you hear me? 
Yes, I can. I'm okay. Um, if the content keeps a number, I will lose. He will lose. He will. No, not you. He'll. He will. Uh, I'm okay. Okay. He will lose his position or. Okay. Or, yes. All right. Okay. okay. Yes. And the last one, people. Thank you, we fellow. Excellent. And the last one, guys. That's me. How much English will, will, they, will, will they learn? Nothing. But well, people, <laughs> you tell me. Okay, go. <laughs> if the answer for a student get Mauricio as their teacher, they would learn a lot. <laughs> Thank you for the answer. <laughs> It is not true, but uh, I appreciate the gesture. <laughs> All right, guys, excellent. Thank you very much for your participation. Uh, I do not really understand. <clears throat> Let me tell you this, and I, I, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of risking myself here. Uh, I don't really understand why the, the the they keep like telling me to continue with the same topic, even though you understand the topic, which is first conditionals, but they they. The program tells me to continue or requires me to continue with the same topic. That's why we've been working with the same thing. But fortunately, we're going to be working on, uh, on a different topic tomorrow. Yes. If I have the opportunity to, to show you this topic later on or to at least introduce it to you, I will. Uh, this is part number seven on page number 21. We continue with page number 22 tomorrow, okay? And page number 23. This is really complicated. But uh, here we have read the following situations, write suggestions on how to solve the conflicts effectively using first conditionals, okay? So in this case, we need, we need to use first conditionals, all right? There are four, I think, or yeah, four, four problems. And it says for, for situations, and we need to write suggestions on how to solve the conflicts effectively, okay, using the first conditionals, all right? That's what we're going to do. And, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to ask you, do you want to do this individually, or do you want to get in groups? What do you think? Free will. So you guys tell me. Individually? or in couples? What do you prefer? In, okay, individually then. Individually. Okay, that's good, that's perfect. Let me, uh, there you go. Let, let me read the situations, let me read this. You listen, okay? Just listen as I read this. My coworker team is always interrupting me when I explain how to carry on procedures correctly, but I'm scared to sound arrogant if I let him know, okay? People, do your magic. I don't know what to do. My boss is demanding too much of me in a rude way, and I'm starting to feel anxious when he shows up to monitor my work. Oh, that's kind of uncomfortable. I would like punch him. I'm a manager. I'm a new manager at a shoe manufacturing company. One of my employees gets aggressive whenever I point that he should follow safety procedures. And the last one, I work at the sales department. I made some mistakes in a report and the department missed a good opportunity for investment. The guys from the department are all, uh, are all angry at me. Oh, no, no good. Okay, guys, go.
guys, let me know when you finish. I'm here, I'm waiting for you guys to tell me what's going on. Guys, are you done? Guys, you done? Okay. Um, <clears throat> let me see. I'm going to share with you and you will tell me the solution that you have, okay? The first one, the first one says, I'm going to choose people directly, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to ask for volunteers anymore. The first example or the first conflict that we have here is this one. My coworker team is always interrupting me when I explain how to carry on procedures correctly, but I'm scared to sound arrogant if I let him know. Let me see. Um, Edwin, do you have your solution to this problem? Uh, actually, um, not the chair, but I have an idea. Like, okay. if my coworker is interrupting me when I'm explaining something, 
probably uh, my suggestion is to let him talk and then I will tell something like directly to him, like polite, you know, in the polite way to let me, the, the let me talk first. So probably that is my, my answer, but uh, I don't understand so many, so many the, the, the whole item. Okay, I understand, I understand. That's, that's okay, that's okay. okay. Thanks for that, Edwin. Uh, well, Rosa, can you please, Rosa, can you please uh, like, give me your solution to the same problem, the first one? Okay, teacher. Um, let me find. Okay, uh, let me read. Okay, um, if my okay, my ask my answer is my if my coworker. Oh, okay. If your coworker interrupting you, you will have to talk with him and ask him what is the problem with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no. directly, <laughs> directly. <laughs> what happened? What happened? That's what, that's what I thought the first time. <laughs> oh, I don't do that, okay. That's, yes. fine. that's fine, thank you for that. I said, a solution is a solution, okay? Yeah, so it works. The second one says, I don't know what to do. My boss is demanding too much of me in a rude way. And I'm starting to feel anxious when I... Uh, when he shows up to my to monitor what I'm doing or my work, Luis, what, what do you have for us? Uh, let me check. Uh, you know, my boss is man too much of my. Of course. Mm -hmm. I feel anxious when the show someone. Um, probably I will say that if my boss continue uh, demanding me too much of me. Mm, I will talk with him and express that I feel overwhelmed or I don't like uh, the way that he's talking. Yeah, I think I think the best the best way is to communicate, you know, the best solution is to communicate what's going on. Of course, you have to find a way to do it nicely. <laughs> yeah. All right. Is that it, Luis? Yes. Okay. And that's okay. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sandra, are you there? Sandra, we want to hear you. Yes. Yes, you. Solution? Yes, please. To the second one, the same one, the second. same one. The same one. Yeah, the next one. Okay. Is uh is uh is my boss it my boss is demanding uh, show show out monitor uh, i i will be i will be starting to feel anxious mm -hmm. uh, um and to make bad, bad, bad work. Okay. Thank you, Gladys, for, for your participation. We have here more, more problems. I'm a new manager, the, the, the third one. I'm a new manager at a shoe manufacturing company. <clears throat> One of my employees <coughs> gets aggressive whenever I point that he should follow safety uh, procedures. Oh, Ada, what do you have? What is your solution, Ada? Sorry, teacher, I don't know. Todavía no lo he terminado, teacher. No he finished, okay, no problem. Nelson, do you have your answer, Nelson? Yes, teacher. Please, Nelson, thank you. Okay. okay. In the answer, board. No, the third one. Okay. The number three. I am new manager 
at a shoes manufacturing company. One of my employees gets a great aggressor whenever I point that he should for a safari a procedure. And I write in my my opinion is I write in the fear conditional is one of my employee is aggressive. I will talk serious with him. Okay, okay, that's that's a good one. Yeah, I would like communication is the best one. And let's go to the last one, people. The last one is I work at the sales department. I made some mistakes in the report, and the department missed a good opportunity to for investment. The guys from the department are all angry at me. So, guys, what about this one? That was difficult, huh? Okay. Uh, we will. I quit. Not... Yes. Go ahead. Thank you. I, no, I quit. I said <laughs> I quit the job. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> okay. That's not, oh, no. No, but... Okay. Thank you. In Pamela. Meet answer teacher. Wait, wait. If, if Paola is here, if, if Pamela is here, then she will do it. If not, then you will do it. Pamela, show yourself. Okay, my magic is gone. Anna, go. In this case, in my opinion, that is important that um, the girl accept the responsibility for the mistake. Uh, in the other, uh, it's important that she must be more careful mm -hmm. to complete the report mm -hmm. because the information is very important for to take decision for the other for the other people mm -hmm. and. In my opinion, it's important to accept the responsibility he uh, always say the truth. Okay, tell the truth. Tell the truth, okay, yes. Always tell the truth. Yeah, okay, guys, thank you very much for your opinions. We still have 14 minutes in which I will try to introduce to more topic because uh, it's, it requires a very long explanation that the structure is, it's, it's challenging to be honest. And uh, let me go here. <clears throat> here we go, guys. The topic for tomorrow, this is an introduction, okay? This is the third. We have been studying the, the, the first conditional. Well, tomorrow we're going to start the third conditional and the structure is a little challenging. So it will require some thought, okay? We, we use it to talk <clears throat> about past actions. People look at this, about past actions that did, didn't happen, okay? We use it to talk about actions that didn't happen, about past actions that didn't happen. And we also express the result And we imagine, sorry, imagine the possible result. Okay, that's what happens. Possible with double S. Okay, the possible result. Okay. It means we are going to be expressing expressing we're going to be expressing imaginary or invented 
results. Okay, that's what we use it for. So we use the third conditional to talk about past actions. Okay, past actions that didn't happen. These actions did not happen. And we imagine, we just imagine, okay? We imagine the possible result. It means we are going to be expressing imaginary or invented results. Imaginary, let me see, imaginary invented, invented and There you go. That's better now. Okay. We're going to be expressing imaginary, invented, and hypothetical situations. This the structure is different for people. We start with if, okay, people. Iniciamos con if, okay. If. Mauricio, os vemos estos. If Mauricio had, okay, guys, if Mauricio had gone to the park, he would have run into his friends. This is the structure. If Mauricio had gone to the park, <coughs> excuse me, he would have run into his friends. Okay. This is how it goes. La estructura está bastante compleja. Si la pueden ver, está un poquito complicada. Usamos esto que está acá, had gone, que es pasado perfecto, that's past perfect. Let me change the colors here to this one. And this is the other structure. Okay, people, lo que cambiamos del primero al tercero es lo que está en azul, o celeste. Okay, eso es lo que cambiamos, la estructura. Okay, if Mauricio had gone to the park, si Mauricio hubiera ido al parque, él hubiera o él se hubiera encontrado, run into es encontrarse con sus amigos, ¿ok? People, easy, right? Fácil. The, st the structure is simple. If is, the, we'll start the sentence with. Iniciamos la, la, con if, luego seguimos con subject, ¿ok? Then we have had, Plus past or Okay, guys, here we go. This is the structure. It's very long. It's not very extensive, okay? Let's explain in, in, in Spanish, okay? Después de Mauricio, que es el sujeto, usamos el had. Okay? Had, en este caso, significa hubiera. Okay? Hubiera. Luego, el verbo en su forma participe. Okay, past participle is pasado participle. Luego complemento, okay. Si Mauricio, Mauricio hubiera, hubiera ido al parque, él hubiera encontrado o se hubiera encontrado con sus amigos. Después de la, como usamos otro sujeto, le usamos la combinación de would have, okay. Would have, que significa, bueno, en este caso se hubiera encontrado, okay. Luego el verbo run está en pasado participle igual. So this is a little difficult, okay? Seguimos, people. Okay. Another example, if... Teacher, sorry. 
can yeah. I say if if I had gone to Paris, Paris, mm -hmm. I I would have visited Eiffel Tower. If I had gone to Paris, you said. Uh huh. Yeah. If uh -huh. I had gone to Paris, I would have visited visit visit visited uh, visited visited visited. Sorry, the Eiffel Tower. How do you write it? How do you write it? Yes. You put Eiffel. Yeah, you Eiffel. I don't remember how, how can I spell it. Is it like that? If you tell her, yeah, yeah, I remember. I, I don't, I'm not really sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's, that's correct. That's correct. That's how it goes. Okay. If I had gone to Paris, I would have visited the Eiffel Tower. Okay. Yes, the structure is correct. Okay, if, uh, let me see, if Mr. White had cooked faster, Okay, look, if Mr. White had cooked faster, everyone would have eaten, okay? Everyone would have eaten. Siempre usamos ese would have. También se puede usar el could, okay? Es otra opción, no me acordaba de eso. También se puede usar el could aquí. Okay. Everyone could have eaten. All right. Guys, do you have any questions about this structure? Facile, right? Easy. See? Sí? Okay, vamos. Now, everybody, sí, uh, vamos a proveer un ejemplo en este momento de eso que estábamos viendo. Quiero que todos escriban if Escriban if en el chat. Una oración. Everybody, if. Solo if. Pero no, 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 no le envíen, ¿ok? No le envíen todavía. Solo escriban if. Déjenlo así. Ahora elijan un sujeto y escríbanlo. Cualquier sujeto. Escriban el sujeto. If. En el subject. Ahora el, pongan el had. Had. ¿Ok? Pongamos el had. Luego del had ponemos un verbo, cualquier verbo en su forma pasado participio o en su forma participio. Okay? Luego pongamos y por un complemento. Ya. Pongamos la coma. Ahora repetimos el sujeto. Luego ponemos el would have. Ok. Would have. Luego un verbo en pasado participio. Luego el complemento. Ok, ahora envíenlo. Y veremos el resultado. He enviado el mío. If Rose had forwarded the emails, the boss would have won a bonus. Ok, Luis, if they had sent the payroll, we would have received our payment on time or we could have received our payment on time. <coughs> Guys, if Edgardo had taken his medicines. Okay, if I had begun the... Uh, Ana, begun is con U, begun. Es 
Ese es pasado, ok. The training before. Ok, lo demás está bien. Solo eso, la U, póngale desde la A. If I had gone to play soccer, if I had gone to play soccer, what would I say? I would have won the match. Ok, match, ponte antes de la C. If I had run tomorrow, I would have to be this. Uh, Edwin, esa no está bien, Edwin. Cambialo de tu último. I would have if my dog had. Ok, Gabriela, cambiamos el verbo. El verbo no es eat, sino que es eaten. Eaten se escribe, se dice eaten. Es el participio del verbo. He would have gotten. Cambiamos el get for gotten. Uh, ok. Y los demás. Solo leí como cuatro ejemplos. What about the rest? He didn't finish. If my friend had listened to me, she would have would have gotten, okay? If I say gotten, I'm like gotten. If Mary had done the dinner, Mary would have bought. No, no, no. Mary would have. Y tengo la hacer tú. Would. Dice, si, si María hubiera hecho, sería made en ese caso, made, not done. Si, si María hubiera hecho la, la, la cena, María hubiera comprado comida. That's not all. Okay. If they had run in the park, they would have had, they would have had, okay, have had a better condition. Updating my dog. Let me see. I'm checking the examples, people, people, people. Uh, let me see. Yes, Lowell, that's your example is good. Guys, we have a few mistakes. We have a few mistakes, but we are going to we are going to reinforce this tomorrow. Okay, so do not worry about it. Okay. We are going to reinforce tomorrow. Today is just a, the very, very short introduction to this. I know the structure is quite complicated. And uh, tomorrow we will try our best to understand it, okay? Thank you for the ones that send exam examples. Let me update the attendance list. The last person that stayed was Julia, right? Were you the last one? Yes, uh, on Thursday. Oh, Thursday. Who stayed on Friday? Quién se quedó el viernes? Because I don't really remember. Carla, usted fue verdad? Was it you, Carla? No, teacher. Entonces fue, fue entonces. Bueno, se queda usted, Carla, después entonces. Okay. okay, no problem. If I had eaten lunch, we would still mm, no. If I had took my pills, taken, taken. If I had, if I had taken my pills, I, okay. It's gonna be difficult tomorrow. I I know. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, yes. All right. But Carla, you stay today, okay? Uh, Ana Patricia. Present. Adriana Stephanie. Ana Selmi, Chévez. Present, teacher. Gabriela Alejandra González. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares. Here. Guadalupe El Carmen. José Ernesto Osorio. Julia Patricia Vázquez. Present. Carla Patricia Vázquez. Carla, Patricia, sorry. Carla Verónica Vázquez. Present. No words, Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. 
Nels, uh, Luis Orlando Rodríguez. Here. Hi. Nelson Edgardo. Present teacher. Uh, Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Hi. Amela Beatriz Posada. Next, Rosa Elena Salgado. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, next, Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter, uh, Mauricio Morales. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado. Present teacher. Suma Rosaura. Flor de María Carballo. And uh, Edwin Alexander. Present. All right. People, thank you for being here today. It has been a pleasure. I will see you guys tomorrow. If everything goes well, I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you guys. Have a good night. Sleep okay, well. Good night, everyone. Okay. Good night. Rest. See you tomorrow. Take rest. Bye. Good night, people. Take care. I will miss good you. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thanks. Ya salgo, teacher. Ya salgo. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Relax. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, she's still there. Okay, Carla, do you have any questions, Carla, about the classes, about the topics, uh, or, you know, comments, opinions? <clears throat> yes, este, eh, teacher, eh, I am interested in to learning, learning connection to ideas in English, because I think that I need to um, learn new words, but connection for for a, ex, a better expression because I, I, I think that my problem is this part because when I have um, a, a expre, expression idea, um, I feel that don't, Fun, a, a, a world of connection. And that's that's okay. That's okay. The solution is the constant, constant, okay, constant practice. Okay. But not just in the class. It has to be a constant practice in your mind here. Okay. Think in English. Okay, over to you. Just think about. Uh -huh. uh, I'm gonna tell you in Spanish. Le diré en español. Miren, okay. Hace tiempo, mi abuelo tenía ganado. Okay. Uh -huh. Hablo como 2010, 2011. Hace un buen tiempo. Y tenía que atraerse el ganado todos los días. Esa era mi tarea. Y atraerlos, darles agua y comida posiblemente. Cada vez que iba, mi mente iba, iba en inglés. Okay. Yo no sabía nada de inglés, apenas comenzaba, ¿ok? Pero en mi mente empezaba a, a preguntarse, hey, ¿esto cómo se dice en inglés? ¿Y esto cómo es? Entonces buscaba, buscaba un, en el en teléfono un, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Un, un traductor. Un traductor. Ajá. Cuando no sabía cómo se decía, por ejemplo, árbol, uh, lo buscaba. E iba. Ok, tree, tree, árbol, tree, tree. Repetirlo, repetirlo, y si algo más, repetirlo, y así. ¿Ok? Pueda que parezca un poquito tonto, por decirlo así, o un poco que, que da pena o vergüenza, pero en realidad, así es, la práctica. 
hacia el maestro. Okay. Okay. Pero usted, su desempeño ha sido muy bueno y I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, other problem I feel how is that, for example, I understand all that you say, mm -hmm. uh, but when I listen in another person uh, out of the class, mm -hmm. it's very difficult for me to understand. Mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah. But, but your class, I understand all. Understand your explains in each class. I enjoy your class because you are very funny, your expression, your motivation for use. Uh, but when I listening a another person. ¿Sabe qué? Es, ¿Sabe qué? ¿Sabe qué? Uh -huh. Eso es por el acento. Porque usted se acostumbra solamente a un acento y se acostumbra a cómo habla la persona. Oh, te entiendo. Es como hablas, qué, habla, qué palabras usas, tu pronunciación. Pero cuando escuchamos a alguien más, nos quedamos con qué quiere decir con esto, con esto, otro. ¿Por qué habla tan bien? ¿Por qué usa Porque... todo eso? Entonces. Yo siento que su clase es bien práctica y, y este, a veces tal vez pues para que todos participen no podemos hablar solo nosotros, mm. eh, lo que quisiéramos, pero uno va como haciendo los ejercicios ahí pensando y, y le va entendiendo lo que usted nos explica, pero cuando yo escucho hablar a otra persona no comprendo todo lo que me dice, aunque mm. yo sepa el tema del que estamos hablando. Mm. Sí, entiendo, sí. Eso está bien. Uh -huh. no, Entonces, ha hecho muy bien, su rendimiento ha sido muy bueno, muy bueno. Ok, sí, verdad que sí. Oh, bueno. bueno, voy a seguir, sí, mira, yo trato pues de, uh -huh. de, de ir ahí aprendiendo. Bueno, de hecho, he practicado buscar solo eh, páginas en inglés, así en las redes sociales. Entonces, ahora que es... hay una, una cantidad uh -huh. masiva de, de, de contenido de internet. Uh -huh. Increíble. Pero, sí, y también creo que apenas vamos casi que digamos a la mitad, nos hace falta la otra mitad y creo que tenemos todavía tiempo para mejorar. Fíjese que el, el inglés así es. Tenía un, un, un conocido que llegó hasta el nivel superior, creo. Uh -huh. Pero como dos años de inglés. Y le costaba bastante. Le costaba bastante. Pero el, 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 el básico y también el intermedio son la base para poder construir oraciones. Uh -huh. Eso ya se aprendió. La teoría, la, la básico y el intermedio es, es, es solo para poder expresarse. ¿Ok? Ahora que esta persona ya no, ya no estudia, el inglés la ha aprendido muy fácil. Porque okay. ya tiene la base del, del, del básico y del intermedio para poder hablar. Y lo que le queda ahora es solamente construirlo y practicarlo más. Porque usted tiene vocabulario, tiene, la, tiene un, algo de fluidez. Ahora solo hay que, hay que poder conectar ese vocabulario, vocabulario, conectarlo. Eso es lo que más cuesta. Y se puede conectar solamente practicando, hablando. Sí, sí, eh, igual creo que voy a buscar como palabras de conexión, porque a veces eso creo que también es lo que, Bastante, lo que le decía, que, que me, como que siento que me falta, porque no hay cómo agarrar la siguiente idea, cómo pasar, pasarme la siguiente idea. Entiendo. Sí. Y tiene que Pero, Sí, sus clases me gustan y las entiendo, las disfruto, no me aburren, que eso es bien importante, pues, porque este, usted pues, nos mantiene como bien atentos a lo que, a lo que está explicando. El tema que tengo mañana es un poquito complicado, fíjense que uh, fueron sí. pocos los que me dieron un ejemplo correcto, usted creo que se lo mandó, ¿verdad? No, no, se lo mandé, es que yo estoy conectada a una tablet, entonces me cuesta escribir, Mi, la computadora que tengo no me agarra el, ¿cómo se llama? El Zoom, okay, entonces 
Sí, estoy, tengo la computadora para abrir el libro, el WhatsApp, por si mandan algo ahí, pero no puedo escribir. No, ah, ok, entiendo, ya veo. Sí, ese tema será un poquito más complicado y lo puedo encontrar con los ejemplos que me mandaron y vieron unos cuantos correctos y unos que no estaban correctos. Así sí, que estaba, estaba viendo que tenemos que usar el verbo en pasado en algunas ocasiones. Porque por ahí vi un ejemplo que decía, eh, bueno, que el verbo era el que no estaba como bien aplicado. Entonces también, bueno, yo ya, ya estoy haciendo lo del, eh, avancé con, el, con la plataforma ahora. Y eh, pues ahí también están unas oraciones que hay que ponerle el condicional. Sí. Es verdad que, que, que también pues tenemos que ir, ir avanzando. Si consigo uno, unos, unos, unos videos en YouTube o bueno, también en TikTok, hay buen material también en TikTok. Sí. Compartir sí. Unos, unos links para que los puedan ver de antemano en la, durante el día mañana para que la clase ya venga un poco más potentes. Ah, súper bien, sí, sería bien. Sí. Ok. Bueno, ¿tienen preguntas o comentarios o opiniones de todo lo que. Bueno, de las no. sugerencias? No, como le digo, su clase es súper buena. Eh, me gusta porque es bien práctica. Me gustan lo que también eh, hace los, los break and room, que eso también nos permite como eh, practicar más porque son en los en grupos más pequeños. Y pues yo hasta ahorita pues le voy entendiendo lo que usted nos va explicando. Como le digo, sí, es una clase bien amena con usted. Ok, excelente. Sí, gracias. Yes, no problema. Thank you, Carla, por being here. Un placer, ok. Que descanse. Ok, buenas noches. We'll see you tomorrow, Carla. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. -bye.